Hello, I'm Tom and this is uh, Around the House of Kay and Tom uh, YouTube channel and tonight we're going to cook some southern fried chicken thighs here and we're going to get blazy and use some Idaho buttery home style mashed potatoes instant <laughs> and so that's what we're going to do but it's going to be real good oh and we're going to make some gravy we're going to make some chicken gravy to go over top of our potatoes so hold on because you know we're going to be using our ninja foodie to make all this stuff in so let's get started with it okay now the first thing we'll do is take these uh, thighs out of this Purdue wrapper here Purdue is good chicken and you use most of the time it is and then we'll put it in this uh, bowl here and then we'll take it over to the sink and wash it out okay now I've got them washed off pretty good and I've got them laying over here on this uh, napkin and drying a little bit and we'll take and pat them dry and so now All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put one of these eggs here in this uh, bowl. Okay, now we'll put some milk in here with this egg. Okay, I will whip that up real good and get it. This stuff really good to go with my whisk. Okay, lay this aside. Okay, now I'm going to put my flour in this bowl here, and everybody knows I like to stiff my flour. I've got about two cups here. Put it right here in my stifter. Shifted up pretty good. Okay, now we'll take this uh, Laurie's all purpose chicken seasoning here. Dump quite a bit in here. This is a good seasoning here. Really good. Okay, now. Side. Okay, now we'll take the whisk and stir this up pretty good. I have too much flour in here. I don't know. All that stuff's mixed up pretty good. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Salt fire get oak. Now mix it up again. All right, now we're about ready to get going here now we're getting close okay now we're about ready to start 
dipping our chicken here. So first thing we'll do is put it down this milk. And put it over here in this flour. Just like that, cover it real good. Put it back in the milk one more time. Put it back over in the flour. And then we'll set it down in the Ninja Foodie over here. And we're going to get out another one and get it going. Okay, now the second time you put this stuff over here, when you're getting ready to put it in the Ninja Foodie, make sure you shake some of this flour off. Then you come on over here and put it in the Ninja Foodie. Now we'll get the camera over there in just a second. I'll show it to you, but you put it in your milk bath first. And you put it in your flour. Now, I thought for a minute there I might have had a little bit too much flour, but I see right now, it's, if anything, I could use probably just a little bit more, but this will be fine. Okay, and then now dip it down in your egg bath again, egg wash, whatever you want to call it. Short gets all down in the nooks and crannies here. Okay, now shake some of that excess flour off. Okay, and I'll set it down in the Ninja Foodie. There you see it, we've got all four pieces of this down in this Ninja Foodie here. And I'm going, the next time we'll do it, I'm going to get out my little pump up oil spray and we'll spray some oil on it. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Okay, now listen here, this particular sprayer here, you just, just pump it up like this. Then you just spray it on like that. Now this will help it brown. Now if you don't do this, sometimes it won't brown. So you'll just have a white flurry mess in there. So most of the time you want to make sure that you uh, put some kind of oil or something on it so it'll brown. But anyway, now the next thing we're going to do is shut the lid on this Ninja Foodie. We're going to turn on the... Uh, power here. I'm going to go hit uh, air crisp over here. It says 390. I think I'm going to leave it on 390. And I'm going to hit 20 minutes on it. Of course we'll check on it periodically with a thermometer to make sure what it's doing here. And then we'll go hit the start button. And there it goes. So now while that's doing that get started doing something else here and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now it's been cooking for almost 11 minutes. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, you can see that. It's starting to look real good right there now. So, let's shut the lid and get back to it here. There it goes. Well guys, if y'all can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you very much to all you people watching my videos. It means a lot to me.
Okay, we're down about seven seconds on this uh, 20 minute cook here. We'll fix and open it up and just see what it looks like down in there. And check the temperature. So cool. Okay, and it beep. Well, I'll tell you right now, that looks like good fried chicken, whether it is or not. <laughs> Let's see. Now that says 174. It well done up. Make sure I stay away from the bone here. I know you can't see that. There's no way hardly I can get to hold it. That says 194 on that, which is probably overdone. But I don't think there's no way it's overdone. 166. And it's still cooking while it's sitting here in this pot, of course, because it's so hot down in there. So, I'm going to color that done. And so, we're going to take a piece of it out of this pot here and see how it does. Quit burning myself. Oh, that looks pretty nice there. You can see the bottom starting to brown and everything. So, now before I take everything out, I'm going to set this over here and cut into it just to see. Okay, now, I'll tell you right now the way that knife goes in there. This is going to be some good chicken right here. If I can get it apart so you can see it. And the verdict is it looks just a little bit red down in there yet. So I think I'm going to put it back in about five more minutes. Okay, now I went ahead and flipped everything over and, and we'll cook it a little while longer here. And I'll turn on the power and we'll hit the air quest button. We'll leave it at 390. And we'll come down to five minutes and we'll hit the start button because it's not that far off. It's just a little bit, just a little bit pinker in the middle than you want it to be. And when I cut down that plate a while ago, there was just juices come out. It wasn't anything real red. It was just some pink juices come out. So it's not that far from being ready. Okay, now we're down to about six seconds here left on this, uh, cook time. That was like a total cook time of 25 minutes. Turned it over one time after 20. And so now it says cool. Okay, and now it stops. And now we're going to get it out and try it again. <laughs> now I will tell you what now, that's some good looking fried chicken right there, isn't it? Piece up and it's tender. You can tell how tender it is just by picking it up. Okay, now we're gonna make us some gravy to go with this, some chicken gravy. So we're gonna turn on the power, or we're gonna hit the sear button, sear saute button. I'm going to leave it on high for the time being and we'll go ahead and turn it down in a minute or two, I think. And so, let that get started. We'll put a quarter of a stick of Land O'Lakes butter in there. Let that get melted down here. And it won't take it long in this pot. Okay, now the butter's melted. And I'm fixing to put well, almost melted. Now we'll go put some flour in. By the way, we use this uh, Pillsbury, I think it is Pillsbury 
self-rising flour is what we're using. All right, and start working that in real good. I'm pouring a little milk here. Enough Three. milk? No, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep on hearing a little bit more, a little bit more, and we'll have a whole pot of gravy here in a minute. We'll have to make some biscuits. <laughs> Okay, now put a little salt in here. Now some pepper. All right, now. By the way, I turned the uh, sear button off on this thing, so the power is completely off now. I don't want it to get much thicker. This is about yeah. as thick as you want. Now here's our gravy and there's our chicken and we got a little lazy tonight. We're having instant potatoes. Seems like we're always having instant something. But anyway, let's go all go together here in a second and I'll show you. Okay, so there you have it. This is hers and this is his. And this is uh this has been this is Tom and Kay with Around the House with Kay and Tom and I hope you enjoyed my little video as much as uh we enjoyed making it for you, and I hope you come back and see us real soon, because we're going to be eating and eating. Don't y'all overeat. <laughs> Until I see you again, y'all have a good day now. Goodbye.